Hello everyone, welcome to NG Classes YouTube channel. In this video lecture, the task is to determine whether the following systems represented by input output relations are time invariant and invertible. Under this we have got uh, four numericals. Uh, in this video what we do is, uh, let me consider uh, the very first numerical that is uh, y of t. This is the output of the system y of t is equal to x of t divided by 2. So this is the numerical, the task is to determine is it time invariant and is it invertible. We have to test this for uh, two properties. First uh, let me consider uh, to test for time invariance. So let me consider uh, time in a uh, variance. Is this system time invariant or not? The definition of time invariance is such a way that uh, a shift in the input leads to an identical time shift in the output. So I repeat the statement, a shift in the input must lead to an identical time shift in the output. So it has got uh, two parts. First thing is a uh, shift in the input. So let me consider that shift in the input, input is x of t, shift in the input I would consider x of t minus t naught. Uh, this is the first half of the statement. So I take this input and I would give this to a system of operator h so that I would get the output and now this time I would call it as y1 of t. Is this okay? Uh, first I have considered a shift in the input. Uh, what is the nature of the system? Uh, for such a s input, what is the output I am going to get? That depends on the nature of the system. What is the nature of the system? Uh, the system does, wherever it finds t, it replaces that with t by 2. So that is the nature of the system. Considering that, we would get y1 of t is equal to x of so here it is t minus t naught. Here there is a t. So that t gets replaced with t by 2 because that is the nature of the system. That is what the system is going to do. And minus t naught as it is. So this is the first part, the, the first equation. I could call this as equation number 1, y1 of t. Uh, this uh, shift in the input leads to identical time shift in the output. So now let me consider a shift in the output. Consider shift in the output. Output is uh, y of t. Shift in the output is nothing but y of t minus t naught. Is this okay? y of t minus t naught is equal to what I am going to get. That is equal to x of, I already have t by 2. This is the nature of the system, x of t, uh, t by 2. Uh, now t is being replaced with t minus t naught. So wherever uh, we find t, that should be replaced with the t minus t naught. Is this okay? That gets divided by 2. So this I can call it as equation number 2. The task is I have to compare equation 1 with equation 2. In equation 1, this produces a shift in the input and equation 2 uh, leads to a time shift in the identical shift in the output. So now if they are equal, I would say the given system is time invariant. That, mean, that means it is not varying. The output is not varying with the time. It is constant. So are they same? No. Therefore, the, the system, the system uh, represented by y of t is not time invariant. As both the equations are not equal, I would say this system is not time invariant or it could it can also be stated as time variant. Time variant. Both of these are correct. Either it is not time invariant that is nothing but time variant. Is that okay? So this is uh, with respect to the first property that is time invariance. So now let me consider the second property. Second property I need to uh, test this for invertibility. That means I have to test, I have to say is this system invertible or not? So how do I test the invertibility? Uh, to test the invertibility it says that uh, I should be able to get back my original input. Is this okay? That means x of t, I would give it to a system. Uh, let me indicate this is, sorry. I would just write one block and I this call is, I call this as the system. Here I would get output uh, y of t. 
let me write it over here this is the output y of t this is the system with operator h is this fine so what is the nature of the system wherever it finds t that gets that gets replaced with t by 2 that is the nature of the system y of t is equal to x of t by 2 next task is for such an output can i add one more system this time i would call it as inverse system can i add one more system wherein i can get back x of t so this time i would call it as h inverse can i add one more system wherein i can get back x of t how is that possible here y of t is equal to x of t by 2 so how do i get my uh, x of t back that is i would add x of 2 into t divided by 2 so i should add one inverse system which multiplies the time so that this two and this two would cancel ultimately i would get x of t back so that leads to the input x of t uh, yes this says that the given system is invertible invertible if i could get back my original input i would say the given system is invertible so with respect to two properties with respect to the first numerical the given system is not time invariant and the given system is invertible yes the the next numerical the second one i would consider that in the next video lecture uh, thank you so much for watching if there are any doubts please let me know them onto the comment section and i'm happy to answer those doubts till then thank you very much